Today we start a month-long series examining black history in Colorado, stories that you may not have known that happened in your backyard. Joining us today is historian Terry Gentry, whose family was part of shaping this history. So um, you have significant history in your family lineage. So let's talk about your great-grandfather. My great-grandfather, Dr. Thomas Ernest McLean, was the first licensed black dentist in Colorado. And he arrived in 1906. He and Dr. Westbrook were best friends at Meharry Medical College, so Dr. Westbrook came out early 1906, and my great-grandfather, the latter part of 1906, started his dental practice February 1907, went back and married my great-grandmother on June 26th and brought her back to Denver. Wow. And then they had twin daughters, Ernestine and Josephine McLean, who were professional dancers during the Harlem Renaissance. Your dad, you were just telling me about. Your dad's a big deal. My dad, so Ernestine's son, uh, his name is Charles Thomas Smith. He went by C.T. Smith. He goes by C.T. Smith. He was just inducted into the Blacks in Colorado Hall of Fame this past Saturday. So I'm, I'm extremely honored and he excited. He started Crime Stoppers. Yes. He's got a great history in color. Well, yes. we want it because we want to tap into your knowledge. <laughs> You've got a lot Thank in you. your head um, <laughs> as a historian. Name, and I know we don't have time for nearly as many as you know, but give us a couple of examples of great leaders and people in the history, black people that many people don't realize were here and oh. part of our state. Oh, my goodness. There are so many folks that we could talk about. And I talked to you before about George Morrison, who was a classically trained concert violinist. And Lieutenant Governor George Brown, he was a state senator before that, and he was also uh, a journalist for Denver Post before that. And Rachel Knoll was the first black woman on the Denver School Board. She filed the Knoll Resolution in 1968 to integrate mm -hmm. Denver Public Schools. And there's so many other folks, uh, such as uh, Mr. Omar D. Blair. He was a Tuskegee Airman. Yes. Colonel Hubert L. Hooks Jones was a Tuskegee Airman. John Mosley was a Tuskegee Airman. And and looking at my my own family with with my great grandfather and his experience and Dr. Clarence Holmes and Father Roming and on my mom's side, the McLusters. Uh, you know, and going back to my great, great, great grandmother on my mother's side, Anna uh, McPherson was my great, great grandmother and her mother, Harriet Bailey, was born enslaved in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And Grand Ann and Grandpa Frank came to Colorado in 1903 and then Grand Ann brought her mother, Harriet Bailey, to, to Denver. So I have multiple generations on both sides of the family. It's just such an honor to be a descendant of both sides of this family. I was going to say pride in your history and knowing all these people that came before you. Uh, you have so much knowledge. <laughs> if you had in 20, 30 seconds to tell somebody how, besides inviting you to dinner, how should they do some research and find out about some of the state in, in Colorado for Black History Month. What would you encourage them to do? Well, there's so many resources. History Colorado has a lot of history. The Blair Caldwell African American Research Library has an incredible amount of history. The Ford Warren Library also does. The Black American West Museum and Heritage Center. Stiles African American Heritage Center. And that's just the start. Cleo Parker Robinson's Dance Theater, she is walking history. She is. She is walking history. And, and the list goes on, but we have so much wonderful, rich history about this amazing community I grew up in. Well, we talk about it this month. It should be talked about every single day of the year. We are grateful yes. that you came, Terry, and um, you continue your good work. I just love you talking about your family. Your eyes just light up. <laughs> we all, it's so exciting. It's wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much.